friends. That was very wonderful ballet called Miss Alliance. And this was theater dance collection. It's the story of a Russian ballerina that marries a Graham modern dancer. And they have a baby who's half and half. <laughs> <laughs> and he's born, he comes out, because she's like in this place. <laughs> and you just see his feet come out, and one's in a toe shoe, and one's in a <laughs> it's, it's in the New York Library. <laughs> you can see the film. I was one of the ballerinas uh, in that. Um, and then I blew out my knee. And I just thought, you know, I thought my life was over. I only really stopped dancing six weeks. But um, I went to the only doctor in New York, really, who was working with dancers. He was a doctor for the Joffrey Ballet. And he explained to me why I blew my knee out. Because I was severely hyperextended, and I can't even do 50% of how my legs used to be. And he explained about that there was a laxity of ligaments, and I didn't have the correct support for my knee and how it happened. And I was like, this is fascinating. You mean if I train differently? I mean, I've been in Russian ballet training, and that was the beauty of Russian ballet, was that curve back and the knee on point. My whole world opened up. So when I went to Amsterdam, I really began to teach what later would be called Simonson technique, but I didn't plan on a technique. I just wanted to fill the void of training. I, by then, I was studying anatomy intensely, and I, everything was a question, every body I looked at, you know, understanding, looking at the asymmetricality of a body. I like to say to people it's a laboratory, because all you're doing is looking at these bodies, and certainly working without hyperextending, natural turnout line, not forced turnout. I hated the thought that people would say, yes, your career is over in your 30s, and wanting to have a life of longevity and wellness, and so a lot of the ideas I was working with began there, and I was able to develop them because I was in isolation. I was away from New York, I was away from my teachers, and I could try things for a while, and it was my woodshedding period, as jazz musicians say, when they go practice, and I knew then that I needed to find a way to integrate all that we are as a person. That interests me the most, who you are dancing, not the image of you as a dancer, but who are you, that everything that you are can come out, that I can get to know who you are as a dancer, that I can see that in your dancing, that you're not putting on a persona or trying to be something else. <laughs>